Hi everybody, Forata Live here with another Keyforge video. This time I'm going to be looking at some mass mutation decks. Mass mutations out. I've got a whole load of decks uh, to look at, open, go through some new decks. Um, check them out on stream here um, and let you have a look at what I'm seeing, what I'm thinking about these decks. So let's get stuck into the first one. This is Langham the Ravenous. So let's have a quick look at the Archon card before going through the cards. So this is Langham the Ravenous, uh, Dis Logos Shadows. And um, quite a few things I quite like about this one. A um, little bit of uh, enhancing going on in here, but quite just quite a good distribution of houses and some really nice Logos cards there. Um, in particular, it's got Even Ivan and Odd Claude, and it's got Vellum and Hyde, so it's got the kind of the two pairs of uh, paired up creatures um, so I think they're pretty cool um, pretty pleased to see them let's have a look through the deck list so um, let's start with this inspector seen that before destroyed your opponent purchase a random card from their hand uh, then I've got a bone saw um, if a friendly creature was destroyed this turn bone saw enters play ready then I've got a triple mind fire. Uh, play your opponent discards a random card from their hand, steal one for each bonus icon on the discarded card. So that could prove pretty powerful. Um, didn't manage to pull off too much with that, just the odd single steal. Didn't hit any of those big cards with two, three, four enhancements on it. Pandemonium, um, Amber Pip, each undamaged creature captures one from its opponent. That's good. Mark of Dis, another Amber Pip. Uh, deal two to a creature. If it's not destroyed, its controller must choose that creature's house um, as their active house next turn. So that's a bit of house control. And again, that's that was definitely a quite effective card. I do like Mark of Dis. Dark Minion here has got a damage enhancement on it. Um, destroyed, deal one to each enemy creature. Um, so good for just popping wards or putting a single piece of damage on people but nothing uh, nothing too amazing then I've got a couple of soul keepers uh, this one's got uh, a damage enhancement on it as well so it's an upgrade this creature gains destroyed destroy the most powerful enemy creature then I had a brabble uh, destroyed your opponent loses one if it's not your turn your opponent loses three instead so if they uh, if they wipe the board they lose three so um, that's quite good and then a Sinestra which is quite a nice card to pick up after your opponent plays a creature on their left flank they lose one um, so that can catch a few people out let's have a look through shadows Francis the economist uh, three power skirmish uh, fight each player gains one um, so that's interesting then I've got a couple of seeker needles so as usual if you get them out early they can put in some serious work just pinging one damage off all sorts um, so happy with that Bonething, play steal one for each fortune key your opponent has so if you pick that up mid to late game that can do some damage subtle auto I like uh, just causes your opponent to discard a card then I've got a dark wave here. Um, play deal two damage to each non-mutant creature um, and you get an amber pip. Then I've got mug with a damage enhancement. So one amber, one damage play. Move one amber from a creature to your pool. Deal two damage to that creature. Uh, there's my second subtle auto. Then I had a couple of Gamgees. Do like Gamgee. Um, great card, great artwork. Reap. If your opponent has more amber than you, steal one. Mutant Cut Purse, so that's put three of those damage pip enhancements into the deck. Otherwise, uh, nothing too special about him. I do like the artwork, though. I do like the artwork, and I feel like it's a bit wasted on this card because other than the enhancements it puts in your deck, nothing to write home about. Um, and last but definitely not least, Mastermindy. Now, Mastermindy was definitely putting in work for me in the games I've played with this deck. Um, it's an elusive creature. At the end of your turn, put a counter on Mastermind D, and then you've got an action. Remove each scheme counter and steal one. Um, so effectively, if you get to use that action, you're stealing at least one. Um, managed to build up to three. My opponent didn't deal with Mastermind D, and I stole three um, using this card. So even if you just get that one steal off, that's that's pretty handy. Um, you are going to have to call Shadows again, um, but actually, the time I 
got the three off was because I didn't call Shadow straight away. It was kind of a few turns later. Um, went back to Shadows and Mastermind is still there. At the very least, it becomes a target for your opponent to remove, um, which is probably wasting some actions or opportunities for them. Now, let's look through Logos because I do like the suite of cards here. Let's start off with Entropic Swirl. Play, choose a creature for each trait that creature has, deal two am damage to it and gain one. Now there's plenty of creatures with two traits, uh, which means you do four damage to them and gain two amber, so that is a nice card. Eclectic Inquiry, gets you an amber pip. Um, archive the top two cards of your deck. Demo Bot, um, so this is the mutant um, mashup creature. Um, Reap, discard a card from your hand if you do draw a card. And then it's got the destroyed effect, the demo thing, uh, steal one. Cyberclone, which is a cool card to see. Purge another creature. Until Cyberclone leaves play, it has power equal to the purge creature's power. It gains that creature's armor, keywords, and traits. So um, really nice to take out one of your opponent's key creatures um, and get it for yourself. Reverse time. Um, Amber Pit plays, swap your deck and discard pile, then shuffle your deck. So that does mean if you get those key cards, good cards coming through early, you can actually use reverse time to kind of recycle them very quickly. Bot Bookton, um, Reap Effect, play top card of your deck. Nice, Munchling, um, three power skirmish, fight, you may discard a Logos card from your hand or not. Or archives if you do gain one. Um, that's the other Bot Bookton, this one's got damage pip um, and now these paired cards so really pleased to see these first up vellum and hide which you'll remember from worlds collide if i can just try and line them up a bit better now i love the artwork on vellum and hide and i love them in the game as well because um, i found if you get these out these are an absolute reap and draw machine um, and i had some very quick decks with vellum and hide in and if people didn't deal with them um, you know, you're drawing extra cards, you're archiving cards. If you've got them both out and active, drawing an extra two cards, archiving two cards, you're cycling through your deck, you're putting stuff in archives, it's massive. It's brilliant. Love the artwork, love the impact. The fact that when they're destroyed, they tend to go to the discard pile um, in, into archive and come back again um, to annoy your opponent is good. And I do just love this kind of um, artwork where, you know, they're joined up and they split a big piece of art. So you can imagine I was very, very pleased when I then saw that this deck had Mass Mutation's own double piece of art with, uh, let me just line that up, Even Ivan and Odd Claude. So uh, four power and five power, they've got the effects Even Ivan action if your opponent has an even amount of amber steel one and then Odd Claude action if your opponent has an odd amount of amber steel one. Uh, love the flavor text here. So Ivan has been acting odd since the Dark Amber experiment. And then on Odd Claude, even Claude has to admit that the Dark Amber experiment was not entirely successful. Um, so there's a big kind of bit of Dark Amber in the middle of the two of them here, um, working away. And again, really love that piece of art. Now, both even Ivan and Odd Claude and Vellum and Hyde were drawn by the same artist, Hans Krill. Um, and just to add to the effect, Hans also did Gamgee. So, you know, I've got a real kind of Hans Krill deck here. I've got like the two Gamgees, even Ivan and Odd Claude, um, and then Vellum and Hyde. So a real homage to, to him and his artwork in this deck. And like I say, I really do love even Ivan and Odd Claude. I really love Vellum and Hyde with the, the split piece of artwork, the pairing. So super excited to get these in the deck um, together. Um, so cool, didn't realize that I'd be able to get Vellum and Hyde and even Ivan and Odd Claude at the same time. So really pleased to see that deck. In terms of the stats on this deck, um, I think looking pretty good. Um, let me just move the Archon card back in there so you can see. Just line that up. Yeah, so looking at the stats, pretty pretty pleased with um, how it's looking. Not too much in terms of enhancements in the deck. A little bit of amber control there, mainly the steel from things like the bony thing and the mastermindy. Um, you've got the pandemonium to do some capture. Um, even Ivan and Odd Claude. Um, yeah, I mean, 
if you can get them working then you, you've got some steel there but um uh didn't really manage that too much i think i love the uh love the look of them but um not finding them too effective so far um, so a reasonable amount of amber here, again quite a high creature count, 22 creatures, um, so that's above average 10 actions, touch below average, uh, the two artifacts there with the Seeker Needles and the two upgrades, no key cheats in here, um, yeah so it's it's a good deck, I think it's a, a, a pretty flexible deck, um, it's reasonable speed, reasonable amber control, reasonable bit of everything, um, nothing too crazy, I think I, I probably need to play with it a bit more um, to see if I can make it super effective but fun to see and like I say the artwork really was the key for me here I love the Vellum and Hyde artwork I love the Even Ivan and Odd Claude artwork and a couple of Gamgees in there so um, you know really appreciating Hans Krill's artwork one of my favourite artists um, doing Keyforge cards uh, for FFG so that was Langham the Ravenous um, a really interesting this Logos Shadows deck <laughs> 